Yeah, welcome to 62 to Freedom. I'm gonna eat my first banana. Like a tan banana. <laughs> it's beautiful. My inner this in a banana beauty contest. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes just like American bananas, but it's actually tangy with a little bit of citrus. Yummy. Let's see what we can get into today. of a horizon. You can barely see it. It gets uh, more than that sometimes. So you can really super barely detect it. You can see this one, but you see how it gets. Wow. Just some logs floating around out there. I guess they came down the river. Anyway, you hear the generator going. It's a scheduled brownout all day today from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a storm testing. <laughs> the generator started right up and the oil still looks clean from using it before. It's probably only 10 hours on the generator. Little, little out, a couple hours here, an hour there is all it's been. One time I ran it for like three hours. That's the longest stint. It's noisy. I bought the muffler for it already, but. Um, wait for Gary to have some free time. Hi. Check you when there's something going on. down there and keep an eye on her. Make sure nothing happens to her. Just shut up in there. Get where you're over guys. Jackie. Cheat bye. Uh oh, you know my wife's coat, I don't know you. <laughs> Sideways. You gotta start it over now. Hi. 
Itay! Kami ba? Ringgus nyo? Dang, kaleng, dang! Oh, what ba? Ayo ako. Lawidan ka? Ito yung misda. Ito yung kawin mariko ya. Chicken. That's the line. <laughs> I was just swimming out there. It was shower time. Now. Let's get shark feeding time. Shark feeding time. <laughs> shark feeding time. It's time for the sharks to eat. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice swim out there too. Oh, the sun is getting ready to set on another day at Nirvanaville. That's what I call this yard and house, Nirvanaville. And uh, just a Sulu Sea you're looking at right there. Off the coast of Panay Island. So this is Nirvanaville in Zaragoza. Bugasong, Antique, Panay Island, Western Visayas, Philippines. It was sprinkling earlier, and uh, wow, the water was nice earlier. Pretty good. You know, because it's cloudy and the sun wasn't out, so it wasn't hot at all. Yeah. So subscribe to us, 62 to Freedom. And we'll venture into the land of retiring early. And uh, what it takes to build a house out of solid concrete. You know, if you need some pointers or something like that, be sure to ask. And everything is free. All answers are free for the picket. Just subscribe and hit me up in the comments. There's my kingfisher, I call him Jurassic. And his mate's name is Park. <laughs> Jurassic Park. I just named him earlier. Cause he likes to park, uh, she likes to park right on the uh, fence right there. Top of that thing right there. That'll be parked at Easy Sus there. Jurassic, he runs around. Surveying his territory. <laughs> wow. You know, we haven't been getting too many um, outrageous sunsets lately because it's been cloud cover from horizon all the way over my head to the mountains. So there's a chance we might get a decent one today. 
we shall see. Anyway, I retired at 62, 50, 61 and a half actually, and cast my 401k in and built this house. And I started saving my 401k when I was 47. So 61 and a half minus 47, what's that? 10, uh, 10 makes 57. And then four more makes 61. So 14 and a half years working on the 401k. So it wasn't very big because I'm only an inside machinist. So you can imagine it was not ginormous. Though, so, uh, you know, I took 13. There's park right there. That's park. And Jurassic still over here on the fence. Jurassic's on the fence, whether he wants to have any uh, babies this Oh, no, I don't know. I'm just joking around. <laughs> anyway, he's on the fence about what he wants. <laughs> anyway, that's Jurassic Park. Anyway, that's not much time for 401k. As you imagine, I almost spent it all. And <clears throat> this house was much cheaper than you might imagine. Oh. Because uh, in the Philippines, labor is cheap. And um, prices were cheap, you know, inflation just started kicking in. Um, right as I got here, really. And um, like, for instance, concrete, cement, was uh, I think I was getting it for two twenty eight a bag for the Apo Premium cement made in the Philippines. So that's what I preferred and trusted that all the way through the build. <clears throat> I did use some Holcomb or something like that for the on uh, the half of the fence that's away from the sea. But the part up here that's by the sea I used Apo too. And uh, everybody seems to trust that more, so I trusted it too. I trusted their trust. So we're gonna see what the sunset look like and call that a day. Somebody gonna pick, get some firewood right now. Let's cook with tonight or tomorrow night or whatever. So. We'll see you guys on the flip flop. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see what we can get into. Exciting tomorrow. We're gonna end up doing some fishing, some talking about retiring early, plastic recycling. We're gonna clean this cove up right here. This cove is gonna get some plastic taken out of it. I know it's gonna keep replenishing the cove, but. I'm not going to give up either. So, take that as a challenge. <laughs> 62 hours.